Monday morning, or Monday lunchtime actually. Happy Thanksgiving Canada. Happy Indigenous Peoples Day America. We're going into the third day of trying to restore these tires, rims actually, of course the tires are beyond restoration. For the old Willie's Jeep. Yeah, pretty ugly. Oh my, we were going to have fun with these ones. Catastrophically rusted. This one, by far the worst. Well, let's dig in. Well, attempt number one, a little bit of everything, a little bit of a paint stripper wheel, two inch grinder, three inch grinder, three inch grinding wheel on a two inch base, used two inch pieces, and uh, a little bit of elbow grease. But this one looks better. I don't know how muffled I am through this, but we're going for number four. Well, here's wheel number four after first pass. Looking a lot better. Still a lot to go, but I think we're going to be able to succeed with this. We're going to try a little experiment and see what the rust converter is going to do for me. I'm going to put a little bit in here. definitely the case that there's black where there was once just nothing but rust we'll see what that looks like tomorrow morning is the phrase wow allowed look at that this is wheel number four amazing rust converter results. Wheel number four, side two, you can see a little bit of the drip through results already. Wheel number three, wheel number two, wheel number one, side two. Well, it's morning and the Rust preserver has rusted out these wheels. This is what it looks like after a little bit of uh, <coughs> steel wool rubbing. I think that I'm going to just do that to all four. And then 
spray some normal primer on them and call them good. There's wheel number four, always the worst. Well, here's my freshly created, I don't know, paint screen with a little bit of padding and it's going to just go right around the edge of the tire, around the edge of the rim, and then I can spray it. That's the theory. Ha ha ha. Not exactly sure if it's going to work. So everything's done for the priming com component of this task. Soon I'm going to test the undercoating scenario, which I'm going to use to try and check some of this rubber fracturing for, oh, I don't know, another six months or something. At least get these wheels onto the truck so that it can be a roller and I can put it up onto casters and move it around. That's the object of the exercise. Let's put some lipstick on this pig. Well, the second can came out brown, but it looks like it's drying black or blackish. So I'm going to let that happen and then we'll see what the end result is. And again, this is going to break all the copyright rules, but I'm listening to Old Man by Neil Young. This is this old man who's on that time. Probably from an early 70s concert. Well, I've re <coughs> resorted to waterproof asphalt sealant to try and just deal with some of these cracks in the tires for turning it into at least a roller and trying to keep it somewhat water resistant. I'm not going to say waterproof. It seemed to work out pretty well for the backside of these tires, so we'll see. Well, here we go finally putting some tires back onto the truck.
Well, the front end is done. <coughs> Good morning, Trig. That's a good dog. I haven't got anything right in my pocket, but I'll go get you something right now. Well, that was my neighborhood dog, Trig, who comes by for a treat every morning. Well, there it is. After five years of lying in the weeds, those wheels and tires are back on it. They are rotted to death and are only used to make it into a roller. But it looks cool.